All right, folks, we're back for uh, a bracket. Kerbio's Dreamland, another bracket here. I'm trying to join more tournaments. I think it's just fun. Gonna be good to get that experience too. You know, playing against some some good players. Uh, and we got Prada, round one, who I was looking over in the bracket. I'm like, you know, of everyone in this bracket, Salt is probably the person I want to fight the least. And then Prada's probably number two. But it is how the seeding worked out. So let's see what we can get up to here. You know. Oh. Yeah, a little bit out of... I, I should have done LSPD right there. I think LSPD would have connected. I wanted that extra carry from uh, MSPD, though. So bad things happened to me. Oh, they recovered in time there? My bad. I saw them whiff that 6XL. I'm like, now, now's my time. Now is not my time, though. They recovered in time to 2 H me. Very well done by Prada there. Sure. Yeah, I can't really... Unfortunately, my 2L is not fast enough to clear those traps. So I do have to stick out that 2M, which is much more punishable, certainly. Oh, backdashing. Illegal? Illegal backdashing? I'm up. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, nice. They didn't uh, quite spear quick enough there. No, I didn't. I didn't hit the guard button. Nice. Well done. Well done. One round left. That's on me, dog. Yesterday's friends are today's enemy. Yeah, indeed. Brought up my uh, my my carry, my anchor. Put me in the jam sport yesterday, and now we have to do our best to send them to hell. Let's see if we can actually manage that. Oh, they did hit the trap in time. Sure thing. Frame trap with a close H. I see you. Oh, okay. No lariating for me. That's my bet. No rolling for me. That's my bet. It's looking a little bit, a little bit spooky, certainly. No trap, at least, so this throw is not as bad as it otherwise could be. No trap, at least, so this throw is not as bad as it otherwise could be. Oh, nice. Well, my brave counter got baited. Well done. I'm dead. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm very dead. Ars Magna into the uh, trap right there. We got throw loops, too. It's like Street Fighter 6 all over again, man. I thought they told me throw was weak in this game because everyone's got wake up throw involvement. Oh, I, I've been lied to? Is that what you're saying? You're telling me I've been lied right to my face? Oh, nice, nice. Brown start. Teleport back. Beats any belligerent option I might think of there. Okay, hit the guard button for real that time. I could have just 2H them out of that, actually. That was quite fake because they didn't hit me with the first part of the teleport, right? Brave counter. Sure. Get grabbed. Move him over a little bit here. Brave counter is fair. Oh, no 6XMs for you, Prada. One, two. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Give me my save jump, please. Make this brave counter. Yep. Had a feeling. Wait, is it going to hit me? No, it's not. Amazing. I was worried about that because that they kind of like she, she, she like puts her hand down from up high, right? So I was wondering if the, uh, if the slam down part would actually hit me, but it didn't. Not bad. Perfect dodge on that. I mean, certainly just a spot dodge is better, but it it worked out, so I'll take it. Nice. Yeah, I can't jump out of that. Got jailed by the spike right there. Paris. Oh, nice. Yeah, I can't roll that. Hits too low, and I didn't get out of the way in time. So bad things happen to me in ways that I do not appreciate. Oh, God. Yeah, tag far H. The big ol' stop sign? What the? Teleported into me. I was not ready for that. Okay. Toilet tax will have to be paid, unfortunately. It is unavoidable. Dread it. Run from it. Nice. That's the buff, too. That thing has a lot more air and techable time if it counter hits you now. In air. Okay, sure. Okay, brave counter. Oh, I did not expect him to be on the other side of me at all there. I definitely got you mixed. Flying eagle, correct. I was not even thinking about the guard button right there. That's my bad. Okay, this sucks. Unfortunately. Okay, get away from me. Misses Leo Stro. Nice backdash. Good stuff. Risky, but good. Oh, God. That ant that air to air my ass? Okay. Didn't spot dodge the first part of that. So that was all Mrs. Leo Stro, unfortunately. She's minus one there, but when I tried to 2L, I got haha funny. I assume that was a, a timing problem on my part. No 6XM for you, Prada. Delay tech pretty good against that one. I'm not even reacting to those 6XMs. I'm just delay teching, right? And it's working. Oh, speaking of delay teching working, though, it doesn't work against that. That is the one thing that explicitly dissuades that on Kag's part. Very, very powerful throw bait right there. Can't be delay teching with 2L. I have been liking delay teching with 2H against Cagliostro recently, but I totally forgot to do that in this match. I straight up was just not thinking about that. Good stuff, Prada. Coked my ass, indeed. I want Lady Cagliostro run at me like that? Wait, hold on a second. I'm not... Echo, I'm not so certain, certain I'm okay with this rhetoric. Don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, good stuff from Prada. As expected, a, a tough fight, no doubt about it. Wait, can we not? 
Oh, a product hasn't checked in yet. Okay, I'm like, why can't I uh, report the match? Yeah, yeah it's fine. It's fine. I, I haven't again. I've been thinking more about delay taking with two H against Cag for that exact reason. But uh, I entirely forgot to do that against Prada right there, unfortunately. And things went a little bit south pretty fast. Well done, well done. I also got schmixed a lot of the times by a teleport, too. I'm very bad against Kag teleport. There's a lot of times where they just, like, you know, teleport in on me like that, uh, which is very fake, right? Like, if they don't hit you with the first part of the teleport, you're just supposed to just 2 H them. But in practice, again, I find myself feeling rather scrambled against uh, good Cagliostros very often. All right, all right, good stuff to Prada right there. I guess we wait now for our next match to be ready. And uh, for YouTube, I'll be back whenever that is. All right, here's our next match. It's a Vassaraga. Claire. Hello, Claire. Uh, we got Vassaraga, who, again, Catalina's strongest lesbian. What a, what a goddamn card tag. Huh? Uh, again, this this matchup, I think, got a lot better for Voss uh, post-patch, right? It used to be, I think, this, I think I, I personally think this is like one of Ludio's best matchups and one of Vassaraga's worst. Even pre-patch, I got some pushback on that idea from the other Ludivas. Uh, but I, I still, you know, I, I, I feel relatively strongly about that. Not from all Ladivas, by the way. Not, hashtag not all Ladivas, just some Ladivas. I feel relatively strongly about that idea, mostly because of things like that, for example. But again, his his command grab gets bigger, headbutt gets weaker, right? He, in general, just gets a lot more damage off general conversions and things like that. So, uh... The, the matchup is probably closer to even now. It might, it might be even. It might still be slight advantage Ladiva, just because I think she's still very good at dealing with stance, right? And very good at like stopping Vosraga's turn, but it might be it might be it might be even now. Where before I think it was like very 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 heavy advantage with Eva. Right? I gotta teach me how to jump Voss reversal. I can't jump it for my life. I mean, you just save jab. Like you can save jab it without save jabbing it essentially, right? Even though like even if you're not save jabbing it, you're still save jabbing it. It's like jabbing at all into it. Uh, if he if he reversals, it's so slow that you can just like re like like that, right? I mean that that probably would have been a save jab on like a regular DP too. Uh, that might have been a save jab on a DP, on a regular DP too, but like, more so. 5L, 5Ls don't react. Yeah, you do have to react, right? But like, you, you will have the opportunity to jump it. Basically, if you ever are doing jab strengths, right? It's, that's why, it's why it's like, you know, in contention for worst reversal in the game alongside Ladivas, I think. Because it's, it's like, the, the, e like the easiest to save jab reversal in the entire game. And he gets punished so bad for it too. Like, besides the fact, it doesn't, it doesn't even give him like a side swap or anything. Like other reversals might. Bonk, bonk. Okay, yeah, I see that now. A little bit, a little bit uh, put off of doing that reversal now. I can't punish this, can I? Yeah, I think it's only in the corner now that it's a lot more punishable than it used to be, or something. Bonk. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, keep it simple, I guess. Close cell here too, because close M has the one active frame. No need to mess around with that. Don't do this to her. She's just a lesbian. I don't know about all that. She's Catalina's strongest lesbian. We have to take her seriously or else she'll kill us. You're mine. Bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk. Get down here. Okay, well, the Brain Destroyer. Oh, I tried to del delay close H them, but no. Oh, I did it again, though. Oh, okay, okay. Good patience. Get grabbed, though. Your patience will not serve you forever. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was a big enough gap for you, Tackle. Certainly. Well done. Oh. I got unchecked a little bit there. I didn't punish it. At least I still took my turn back. Not the full uncheck. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Far L, far L, far M. If I do that, that's that's not safe to his command grab at all. Oh, baby. Sure thing. Good job. Hold on, hold on. Some adaptations, certainly. Not punishable still. Like, I think it's only in the corner that, that it's more punishable than it used to be or something, or that it's punishable at all now. I think is my understanding of the current situation. Regardless, good games to Claire right there. It's tough, man. Again, even uh, it's, it's certainly tough uh, for Vos like even if the matchup is even when Ladiva is is you know when Ladiva is when Ladiva is chucking and jiving, it certainly can be uh, difficult, right? Because his defense is still quite bad. Ladiva picking up Voss looks crazy. Looks 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 big and strong. She, like, exactly like she actually is. Oh, I didn't check in. Goddamn. But yes, good games, good games. T obviously, yeah, tough to be on defense there. Uh... But we do move further on into the bracket there, and we're fighting the loser of Y. So it's Yoru and then either Insa or Yago right there. Okay, okay. So one of one of these uh, three fellows right here is our next match. We'll see who that's going to be. But yeah, I mean, hey, didn't uh, didn't O2 at the very least. Off to a rough start. But yeah, like Prada was a rough start certainly. But again, just like looking at people in this bracket, uh, Prada is one of the one of the bigger uh, predators of me in this bracket certainly. So I'm not too surprised that it didn't go too well. Maybe if we play long enough, we'll get a run back. Or maybe someone will kill Prada for us instead. 
Thoughts? Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll be back when the next match is ready right here. I mean, he still does really good damage. Seems like it's not that much different. Also, hi, YouTube. We're back with our next match against Insa here on the Zoe. Hello, Insa. It's, he's, so we're talking about Siegfried, by the way. Like, his, his, his damage is still very high. They made his install better. Like, they want him to use that, that Dragon Stock. I still don't know that he needs to use it that often, though. I haven't, like, fully, like, double-checked Siegfried's, you know, like, post-patch and pre-patch corner damage, but it, 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 when I fight him, it doesn't feel that different, anyway. It doesn't feel like he's hitting... You know, he might have lost, like... I don't know, like a thousand damage or something, 500 damage. The only reason that will be, by the way, is because EX Fireball now launches, so he can't go like auto combo, EX Fireball, auto combo or something, right? All right, let's see. Hello, Insa. Uh, I want to Lariat round start. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, okay. Even if it didn't, yeah, even if it doesn't work out, we just like, you know, it's something something to think about. We can check how they play round start too. Sends a message at them that I'm gonna do be a belligerent probably, which they can then worry about for the rest of the match, hopefully. Now, to be fair, it probably will be, like, a fair thing to worry about, because probably will be belligerent. That's kind of how I play, but... Okay, UDP is fine! Nice! I wasn't, I wasn't blocking. I wasn't blocking. Because I, I didn't react to the fact that they, uh, baited my Brave counter right there. Well done. Okay. Okay, it was too low. Cause you can get a side swap there with Diva, but they were too low for me to extend the combo further. Probably would have... If they're too low for that, M Lariat, like, the old route is probably the better idea there. Oh, nice. They, uh, guessed wrong on the second close L. Oh, but I'm a fool! I've been UDP'd. That's bad news, certainly. Nice. Bonk. Bonk. No need to grab when uh, the fear of the grab is better than the grab itself a lot of the time. I did grab them right away, right? So I kind of like put that in their mind a little bit. Oh, the super jump messed up their timing a little bit. Interesting. Okay, I, matched, I messed up my 6XL, so they were able to mash on it there. So true. This is fine. Nice. Okay. I do love M Lariat. You can certainly accuse me of using it too much recently. But I mean, look at it. It's so good. Look when it hits. I get so much reward. Oh, I messed up the thing though. No UDP. Sure. Nice. Give me your toes. Misses Zoe. One and two and three. And grab. Bonk. And safe jump. Oh, God. They tried to throw my ass. They tried to do it again. Stop. UDP. Okay. Out of feeling. I think this is minus enough for me to close H it. I think it's like minus 12 or something. Maybe it's minus 10. But yeah, because of that uncertainty, there's no need. We don't need the extra damage. You just close M her and kill her. No need to worry about the optimal punish there. She was low enough on health that she was just dead regardless. So just keep with uh, what's safe. Making M, more, uh, M moves more useful is one of the big goals of the patch. Yeah. The M special. And M Lariat's certain. I mean, mission accomplished. Certainly. Oh. Like, I... I've already used M Lariat more in like this match than I did in my entire pre-patch Grain Blue career, I'm pretty sure. Get grabbed. Wait, they tried they, they were trying to mash there. Their far L whiff or something? Oh, I missed my 66H. Bonk. That still works, yes. Yeah, so that from higher up, they, they reduce the amount of uh, air unteckable time that that has. So from, from higher up, that doesn't work anymore. But uh, from lower down, you can still do basically the same anti-air combo there where you uh, M Lariat into, into nonsense. Yeah, had a feeling. One, two, three. In that case, I can afford to give up my turn there, because even if even if I just sit there and block, as long as I'm out of throw range, right? I uh, I'm not giving up the corner. Even if I don't hit them, they're still in the corner against Lodiva, right? Especially with uh, Insa being relatively DP happy, the odds of them doing something there it's it's worth taking the risk to give up the turn. I, I, at least you know by my estimation. Turns out I was right right there. Who knows if it's actually you know the quote unquote correct thing to do? But it's a mind game, right? There rarely there rarely is like a correct thing to do. Oh, nice delay, close sale. I love that Zoe face. Yeah, when she gets kicked in the SBA, it's it's very enjoyable. Jump? No. Okay. That's guaranteed. I got. I got. I mean, I'm using like a visual cue of like Eva pulling her hand back for the lariat there, because that's a guaranteed combo. But the link is it's a little bit tight. It's a four frame link basically. Sure. Oh, she was minus there. I think she, she hit me so early on, so high up there. Oh, I didn't have headbutts. My bad. Okay. Ford F150. Yep. Should have rolled it or spot dodge or something. That's minus, right? That's a light version. It's minus two, I'm pretty sure. I'm also minus two right there, speaking of. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Nice match. Hold on a second. Side swap? Oh, no, not side swap. Okay. They are dead. Unfortunately, they are dead. This is 720 on no brave points. This is about 10,000 damage. This is a lot more health than Zoe's got on her right now. I mean, yeah, full, hands off the controller fully. Like, that's... She is... So far and away dead right there that there's no, I had no doubt in my mind 
They made Ladybug's SSBA hit like a goddamn missile launcher. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. GG's to Insaw right there. Well done, well done. Uh, let's report to the match on start.gg. I want, I want to show this uh, to the YouTube too. Because the amount of damage that thing does. You saw her face? She knew? Yeah. Like, like half health is nowhere near enough health on though. It, it, it does more than half health. No, it does, it does exactly half health on the cast if you're at full rave points. No, it, it, no, it'll do half of your 15,000. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. But if has a nuke at 30%, yes, yes. I'll, 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 I'll show it visually in a second here before we cut and wait for our next match. Uh, oh, no. Our next match is ready right away. Okay, okay. Well, it, it does, it does 9,600 damage. If you don't know, most characters have 16,000 health. So that is a little bit about, that's like 65% of your life bar or something. Close, right? Necotech. Okay, that's going to be tough. Let's, uh, let's do our best to lock in here and fight Necotech. But yeah, we'll be back when that match is ready. All right, there's Necotech. Let's, let's get right to it here on the Smitera. I was talking about this before I started the recording again, by the way. I, just realized, I, I paused it. But uh, yeah, the, the basic idea is that this matchup, I think it's actually pretty damn close to even. But it's, it's very, you have to, both players have to be very on the ball. If Necotech is just like a little bit, a little bit more awake than I am right now, then I'm, he's going to steamroll me. Uh, she's going to steamroll me, I believe. I'm not entirely certain. Apologies. Uh, but if, if I'm, if I'm a little bit more on the ball than they are, then I'm going to steamroll them. It all depends, basically. Let's see. Well, I'm, I'm about to be tested on how awake I am. Good luck, thanks you. Let's see what we can do here. We can uh, take Necotech down or not. Okay, good start, certainly. They don't, they don't go for the, the S. Oh, the SPD right away. They don't bite. Very patient so far. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I could have killed them for that, for example. Like that was already first thing that I missed right there. That rain of arrows was not safe. You know, that is very hard to punish if you're not ready for it because it does it, it, it like it goes uh, it's slow but most of it happens like over there you know and the part where she's actually close enough for you to whiff punish is only like 10 or 13 frames or something okay yeah I couldn't have SBA through that because the butterfly would have haha funny me oh nice didn't want to guess at all just supered me right there that's fair I was command grabbing my my face my soul Oh, I could have killed him for that too. Yeah, so so far I've already missed a couple of uh, a couple of hey, how how awake are you checks? Certainly. Get grabbed. Okay, okay. Now we can start doing some some funny. Hopefully, they might DP me here. No, they don't. Okay, good patience from Necotech. Okay, I was kind of looking out for. Oh, we were on the like the exact same timing, but they beat me to it just a little bit. Oh, can't spot dodge that. Come on shit. Oh my god, wait, they're dead. Uh, if I don't mess it up anyway. Let's just keep it nice and simple. I didn't... I didn't know if I was going to build enough meter. Oh, I didn't know if I was going to build enough meter on the close M. I forgot you don't get a, a meter penalty for Raging Strike. So I did two, but it's combo limit. That's my bad. Yep, yep. I could have done close M SSBA and killed them there. But I did a silly. Okay, okay. Unfortunate. Very close, though. Very close uh, first rounds. No need to worry about it too much. We got this in us, certainly. All right, all right. Patience. Yeah, I don't have enough meter to make that real scary for them right there. Okay, you fireball. Oh, sweep! Not ready for that one. Not gonna lie to you. Nice. Oh, didn't quite link there. Unfortunate. Oh, didn't quite get their toes either. They're not really answering me very well right now, which I'll certainly take. Get grabbed. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I wasn't blocking, apparently. I was holding down and not down back. It's my bad. It's a big opportunity for them, certainly. Oh, far L. Sniped me out there. So true. Oh, I could have killed them for that. Yeah, I'm missing a lot of those. They like doing that after the after the butterflies. I'll be more aware of that. Oh, yeah, that was just a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of impatience there, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like doing that uh, rain of arrows after the butterfly. I got to be more looking out for that more because that is not safe. The Terra far L is kind of crazy, yeah. Nice button, certainly. Though, again, it was a random-ass Eulariot, so I shouldn't be too surprised when it gets blown up, right? It's, I'm mostly just taking a risk and hoping for the best there. Okay, nice rolling. Gets us in range right there. Gets us in striking distance. Oh, it's too early with that, but they also whiff their throw in return, so I guess that's a blessing in some ways. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, I rolled into the butterfly right there. Bad news bears. 
Gets one meter off of super, unfortunately. That extra need the extra horizontal range from JH right there. These reversal SBAs have been killing me. I've been running into them. So fair enough. They've been causing a lot of trouble, certainly. Yeah, this. They're not going to get to the butterflies in time there. The butterflies, once they were on me, was actually a little bit less threatening, believe it or not. Since, uh... Well, I could have larried it there. I didn't. I'm missing I'm missing all my buttons up. Don't worry about it. It's all fine. There's no problems here. There is no war in bossing set. Hey, once the butterflies were on me, it was a lot safer for me to super there. Because a lot of the times the super will, like, get caught by the butterfly halfway through the travel towards... Oh, I tried to roll. Oh, you can't roll that, huh? I guess it probably hits too low. I assume it's, it's designed that you can't roll that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, that was certainly a little bit of luck, but we're not going to complain. Should be dead here. Yep. Just kind of threw out the, the, the hopeful Eulariot right there, and it did work. But yeah, we're, uh, we're not playing very on the ball right now. we got to be a little bit more careful about this. We've got a lot of opportunities that we've kind of been squandering. Just a little bit here. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Empty hop low. I see you. I didn't hit her for that? Oh, nice. Yeah, M, M Lariat, not the move in this matchup, I suppose. That's my bad. Yeah, again, that's what I was saying. They like they like doing that after the butterfly, right? And that is not at all safe. I've been letting them get away with it because I've been bad about my uh, bad about stopping it, basically. But it's, it's not it's not a good idea at all for them. Super? No. Okay. Okay. I was wondering if they might. Not safe. Oh, okay. But I was a little bit, a little late on the draw, but I still got out of the the arrows, right? You can see that is really not a good idea for them to be doing right now. Oh, a little bit out of range on 6XL. Unfortunate. It's fine. Lots of baits with these far L's, right? All this trying to, like, get me to, to see her doing something and wants to uh, super. Projectile invuln super, that is. It's, yeah, not, again, not a lot of anti-airing going on, which I'm very grateful for, certainly. Yep, yep. Spent too long trying to just bait it out, right? No need to do anything fancy here. Nice, simple combo. Darts 720 or get max damage or anything like that. Just, uh... Run at her. Close H and SSBA. Yeah, went, went a little bit too deep into the mind game there, right? Trying to bait me out with the far L's. That they just kind of, like, weren't doing very much. But I understand why, right? It's because Ladiba's SBA there is so threatening that you do have to respect it a lot. Or, or uh, especially as Matera in the corner like that, you might just die if you don't. Okay, nice. Get grabbed. Get put in the corner. Get grabbed again immediately. Uh, get this done to you. And that's like most of her health gone already. We love to see it. Okay, Necrotech has not been uh, reversing very much. I wonder if they will now. It's been a very bad round for them. Okay, okay, no. They don't, uh, they don't, they don't want to. I'm worried about them pulling out the reversal in like the last round like this, but nothing I can really do about that. Just gotta, if they, if they do it once, you know, then we can start worrying about it. I shouldn't assume they're gonna do something that'll beat me until they actually do it though. Oh, nice. Oh, on counter, she gets nothing. That's good for me, certainly. Get back throw. Get save jumped on. Okay. You wouldn't do the Reign of Arrows thing, would you? You wouldn't do the Aura Aura thing, would you? Nice. Okay. Spending a lot of Brave points here, certainly. No doubt. Oh, there's the DP. I told you. They're saving it for later in the set, right? That's fine. We got a Brave point back there. Worst things could have happened for them guessing us, uh, for them, like, if, if they had guessed that super otherwise, they could have gotten, like, a full punish. So, honestly, getting DP'd when we weren't even in the corner there, I'll take that. Could be a lot worse. Yeah, without you, Lariat, I can't threaten that Reign of Arrows move quite as much. This is guaranteed. Oh, but they'll Brave Counter, and then I fat finger the spot dodge. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I flipped back there. I didn't let the stick go back to neutral first when I hit guard, though. So now I'm dead. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, okay. Final game, final round. Let's see what we can get up to here. I think they're gonna run at me. No, okay, okay. I thought they, I thought they would like try to switch it up and be more aggressive there, but not quite. Brave counter immediate. Does not want me to get my turn there. That's understandable. Throw bait coming my way, I imagine. No. Oh, that. Not safe, but sure. Oh, she's plus enough after that to jail me. So true. I I, I should have known, I guess. She was close enough with the fireball. Like usually when you like hit a projectile that close, it's not a great idea for you, but. I'm kind of just getting stuck in the corner here. This is like a very different round than the ones we've had so far, right? Oh, nice. I was trying to run up and just hit her with the funny with the 6XL there. Assuming that they were looking for a jump. That was not the case. Oh, nice. I'm dead. Well done. Yeah, they switched it up really well in that last round, right? That was like a, like, that was a completely different round from anything they played thus far. 
That was really, really well done by them, unfortunately, and I was not really sure what to do on defense there. Probably should have uh, BC'd out or something earlier. Good stuff, good stuff to Nekotek. Rip, I'm out too. Yeah, yeah. All beans, it's fine. It was, it was, a, it was, a, it was a, a close set. Well done. That was good adaptation. It wasn't even like that wasn't even like necessarily adaptation to how I was playing, though they certainly had that in there too. They just like straight up were like, okay, last round, completely different gear. Right? They were, they were playing a different, uh, a totally different game at the end there. Right? Like not a single one of the rounds thus like up to that point looked like that. Vod review time. Uh, I'd like to play some more Grand Blue, honestly. Probably like hop back into into ranked, maybe play some Voss or something, see if we can get promos. Of the match? Oh, that's an interesting idea. Wait, it was uh They won the first one, I won the second one, they won the last one. We we could we, we could be do a little bit of odd review. Uh but realistically, I mean, that was just I mean there was the there was the we probably the first I guess the the, the big thing, right, is uh that first game, unfortunately, right? Like we did just in my head, I was thinking like, wait, is there a... So there's a meter penalty uh, when you use a U skill to start a combo, right? At a match, what happened? Very close, but Nekotech did beat me, right? Uh, there's a meter penalty when you use a U skill, right? And in that very first match, I had 98 meter and I had Raging Strike and then Close End, right? And I was like, am I gonna... Am I gonna build Super here or is the meter penalty from Raging Strike gonna get me? The problem is, there is no meter penalty on Raging Strike, right? Uh... So I should have known that I should that I, oh, I would have gotten SBA and went there. Instead, I, got, I panicked. I did two, even though I don't have, I don't have the combo limit for that, right? Uh, so, like that that was a really big mistake that cost us that game, and that was the first game that we lost, right? So that like that that really was probably the the biggest one of the bigger turning points there was just because overall I think we, we like that was very back and forth and like played pretty decently, but like that was like. The biggest mistake that was made on either side there was me just like having the kill combo and being uncertain about my meter gain. Worst part too is I could probably have just done instead of even like waiting on SSBA, I probably could have just done uh, what's it called? Like like they were low enough on health that I probably could have just done this and killed them also, right? So like that, unfortunately, a bad combo routing choice right there lost us that game and probably lost us the set because it was close enough that a mistake that big and basically giving up a game. Because I think that would have been the uh, that round round one game one drop was huge. Yeah, yeah. So like like that probably the set was close enough that probably makes the difference right there, right? Besides that, I mean, I feel like there were definitely some things that I, I caught most of the things I think as it was happening, right? In the sense of like they 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 did that. Um, they like the goddamn my uh, I'm stuttering now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still like amped up from that from that right match is why. But uh, they like to do that rain of arrows thing, right? The her DP basically, right? Uh, it's down forward. Yeah, this thing. They like to do this after like the butterflies a lot, and this is not safe. And I let them get away with a lot of that early on, but I got I made a lot better. Uh, I was a lot better about that as it went on, so I don't think that's a problem. That was just more so I noticed that and adapted. But, like it, it, that 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 drop is certainly the biggest problem, right? Again, maybe if, if we get a whole extra round there, maybe we get a whole extra game there. We win the next game, it's 2-0. We don't have to worry about even what happened in that last game, right? So that's something important to remember. That uh, made it to top eight. Oh, good job, dude. Uh, like if I if I just because my my exact confusion again if you don't fully understand uh, is do you get a meter penalty the deeper you go into a combo? Because like so I was at I don't even remember where I was let's let's say I was just like here right uh, like I got this combo right doing all this and I wanted to oh wait, no, this is, that's not the what was what was the route that I did I forget now oh it was it was uh, this one right I did headbutts right into this into that into close M into Raging Strike, I think, right? And, uh, yeah, into... Oh, good thing I didn't drop it like that. God damn. Yeah, you do 2H here into Lariat, into close M, into Raging Strike, into another close M. And there, there's a meter penalty deeper into the combo, right? But I did. I would have built enough super there, basically, right? There, there, like, I was basically making up a meter penalty that didn't exist. And that made me, instead of going close M into super, I went close M into M, which I don't have enough combo limit for, right? Could have even done like if I could have done close M into the U skill too, like that. That that is a basically just like I, I made up a game mechanic in my head as to why that combo might not work, and then I I unfortunately entered myself with it. Right. It's fine though. Overall, I think that was uh, I think we played that pretty well against Nekotech right there. Uh, very easily could have been ours, but a couple of flubs. I will say again to them to their credit, this is even like me not playing it well. Uh, the last round, I think they they played that shit really well. Like it felt. Different, like they felt like so, like they like they're they're playing like a completely different matchup, different character suddenly, right? 
Very, very well done by Nekotech on that, right? So like, so like I, I thought they would do that, but I wasn't I wasn't ready uh, for it at all. So very good by them. Cool. Uh, well, you know, it's it's it's, it's how it's gonna be. So good to get that uh, as as like thing little drops like that, like that that drop basically comes down to nerves, right? And like, oh, I don't want to mess up this combo because it's gonna kill. And I uh... so like like those things will uh, those things will get better the more brackets we join, right? So I'm trying to join things like you know like Clover Clash, like Kirby's Dreamland tier, more brackets than we normally would join. Where like you know you usually like every now and then we go to a TNS maybe, right? So the more of these we play, the more like comfortable we'll be in brackets, and the less we're going to have those sorts of big mistakes that come just from being nervous or like forgetting things in the heat of the moment, right? So. I don't get Neko. What do you mean you don't get Neko? Well, you're fighting them right now, aren't you? How are you, why, how are you typing to me? Regardless, I'm happy with that run overall. I think we played pretty decently. Uh, I guess the, the, the worst thing we did probably overall, actually, besides that combo drop, is like forgetting to 2H, delay tech with 2H against Prada, right? It wouldn't have probably saved us, but it would have been a much better idea, like in general, against Kag and Uno are the two ones that I find. But it's a very nasty, very quick throw bait that like beats two L's, right? Very consistently. This wants me to take the match. Wait, huh? Doesn't want to play Ladiva anymore, I guess. That's odd. I mean, if someone like doesn't want to play, I guess you know take your dub and move on. But that's certainly weird. Um, I mean, like delay taking with two H against uh, delay taking with two H against like Cagliostro and Uno. I've been liking a lot recently. Anyways, anyways, yeah. Well done. I think good, uh, well, well played bracket. I'm happy with it. We'll get some more experience as as we go. Uh, for now, YouTube, if you had a good time with the video, you know how it is. Any kind of likes, subscribes, comments, bells, always greatly appreciate it. I also have a stream every day from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern if you are so inclined. Link in the description down there. I think you have a good time if you come by and hang out. I also uh, have a Discord if you'd like to join that. Nice place to uh, learn more about the fighting game, make some friends, have a good community around you, all that stuff. Just if you do join, be nice or I'll shoot you in the head in Minecraft. Most importantly, hope you had a great time with the video, as always. Hope you had a, good t a great time hanging out. I know I sure did. Uh, well played run overall. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in myself, certainly, just because, like, thinking about that drop and things like that, we certainly could have had that, but it's fine. You have to understand, this is where it's important to give yourself grace, right? Mistakes happen, especially when you're nervous. You have, you have to, like, just be like, okay, I messed up. I know what I did wrong. I'm not going to do it wrong next time, and then just be happy with that and move on, right? We still played very well. Uh, but yeah, have a lot of fun with the big girl. Going to be a lot more coming your way, and until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace.